Colorectal cancer is one of the five most common cancers in the United States today. Approximately 140,000 individuals were diagnosed with colorectal cancer in 2012. And approximately 50,000 of those individuals died from colorectal cancer. It is the fourth most common cancer-related uh, deaths in America. However, it is preventable. Colonoscopy and flexible sigmoidoscopy are the examinations that we commonly use on all Americans in order to assess and to decrease the risk of developing colorectal cancer. The lifetime risk of developing colorectal cancer is approximately 1 in 20. And colorectal cancer is the second most common cancer in Hispanic men. Colon cancer develops over time and symptoms may not be detected until late in the disease process. However, weight loss, abdominal pain, changes in bowel habits, or rectal bleeding, or even finding blood in the stool or on the toilet paper may be an indication that something is going on in the colon, and it should be evaluated by your physician immediately. Colonoscopy is an examination of the colon. It allows us to detect any abnormalities within the colon itself or also abnormalities within the motility of the bowel. It's commonly used in the screening of colorectal cancer. It allows us to detect polyps, which are small growths in the wall of the colon. Removal of these polyps is important in the detection of colorectal cancer, and thus colonoscopy itself is extremely important in your well-being and healthy lifestyle. In order to examine the bowel, the bowel must first be cleansed or cleaned and stool removed. We use a bowel preparation or a solution that the patient will drink the day before the colonoscopy and allow evacuation to occur. This allows a thorough examination of the wall of the colon and better detection of lesions or polyps that need to be removed. Anesthesia is always administered to the patient to provide a comfort during the experience and to allow a more thorough examination of the colon. Now the risks of colonoscopy are extremely low. Less than 1% of patients will experience any discomfort, bleeding, or injury to the bowel during the examination. However, these risks and these benefits should be discussed with your physician prior to the examination.